Hey drivers, this is Andrew at Third Coast RC in Houston and we just got our delivery in, restocking after the Christmas holidays and everything and we just received a new entry level vehicle from Red Cat Racing, the Piranha. So here we go, let's take a look. This is this is an unboxing, we just got them off the truck. Um, so here it is, comes in this uh, Kind of cool, but don't have any pictures of it on the outside box with a picture of a uh, ferocious piranha on here. Kind of cheesy, but it is what it is. Um, we'll lift this out. And so here is the piranha. What else do we get in the box? We get the piranha truck. We get a manual with, we get four AA batteries. It's kind of cool, so it's totally ready to run. Um, we get the rear wing that I guess we need to install with these two body clips that are sticking around in here. And we get in here what I assume and I hope is the radio. Otherwise, how the hell are we going to control this car? Oh, charger. Little wall charger. And a radio. With a Turn radio on, turn radio on first. Okay, all right. So you've got to make sure you turn this on before you turn the car on. But that's a rule for every RC vehicle. So there we go. But the way this works is you turn this on and you turn the car on and I think the two are going to connect together. Yeah, it's like a live bind system. It's not permanently bound to this truck. Yeah, so if you turn this on, turn this on, these two will connect. But if you turn this one on and your buddy turns on his car by mistake, this will bind to his car. So just be careful with that. Um, so let's take a look at the vehicle. It's a 10th scale, quite a small 10th scale. Um, this is a rare for Red Cat. It's a rear wheel drive vehicle. So the motor is mounted here on, on the rear of the truck. And just looking at it, I think there's plenty of space here to put in a bigger motor if you wanted, a longer motor that has uh, more torque to it and you can probably adjust the, um, the pinion gear in here. Um, we'll pull this plastic wrap off here. Take a look at the body. I mean it's typical kind of like budget level body. Not too bad, it feels like it's not going to crack or break. It has a little bit of uh, flexibility to it. Uh, the rear wing it's going to go on here like that. Just sits right on there. Wiggle it on there and we'll put that on in a minute with the uh, with the body pins. But before I put that on, I'm going to pull the body off. Good tip with these bodies is if you line the inside with packing tape here, that'll make them last a, a, a lot longer. This body doesn't have a protective film or anything on it, it's already got the stickers applied to it. It's a cool looking little body for a, for a budget car. These are going out the door 120 bucks ready to run, so it's kind of a very very aggressive price point. I guess these are going to compete with trucks, the other entry level trucks from other companies like ECX and uh, Traxxas. You know, I know it's not a boogie, but it's kind of comparable to a Bandit or something like that. This is more of a truggy style. I'm going to cut this battery warning label off here. We've got, so what have we got here? We've got a uh, 7.2 volt nickel metal hydride battery in here. We've got uh, a combined ESC and receiver. So the unit is combined, it's not separate. So if you're ever going to change this to a different power system, a brushless power system, then you're going to have to install a different radio in here because it is a combined unit. But I do see that it is LiPo ready. The, this um, ESC is LiPo ready. You just got to pull this little jumper and move it across there and it'll have low voltage detection for your LiPos. Um, we've got no drive at the front. These just free wheel. We've got adjustable turnbuckles um, on the front suspension and the rear we can see them here so that's that's kind of a nice touch we've got threaded shock bodies so that is a that's a nice touch out of the box you know usually they just come with little spacers to stuff in there 
to adjust your string tension but this actually comes with adjustable threaded shocks they're nylon they're not aluminum um, I'm sure there's going to be a whole line of hop-ups coming out for this vehicle in the next few weeks um, what else do we have simple chassis elongated narrow chassis uh, on this truck I mean it's very simple but you know at a budget entry level it's pretty cool what do we have under here we have a little I reckon we can probably pull this off I don't know if this has got a slipper on it yep that just pops off uh, it doesn't have a slipper clutch it's just uh, it's just held solidly so I don't know why they have this little catch on here we'll push that back on there um, maybe it is something that they might come out in the future with where you can put a slipper clutch on here but well, at this time it doesn't have it um, so what we're going to do then is we'll um, we'll go and charge the battery and uh, we'll come right back and we'll put this thing on the ground before it rains today and uh, we'll take a look at uh, how it runs and how it performs so we'll be back in about 10-15 minutes see you soon hey drivers this is Andrew again we're back with the Murana and the wind's picking up here we've got a storm coming in from the north so we're going to try and get this finished up so we've got the light bill battery that we're going to put in the uh, Piranha now and see how fast it goes we've got 25 uh, miles per hour when we did it with the Nicomel Hydride um, just one thing I want to talk about is the servo in this car it's only a 3 kg servo it doesn't have to move very much just these front wheels which are quite light and it does have a servo saver on the uh, servo horn so that's quite a neat little touch there um, so let's let's put the battery in here and uh, the LiPo battery slots right in I did actually change the jumper over so it's on LiPo but I don't expect we're going to run this battery flat um, plug this in here make sure the truck's off before I connect the battery up this truck uses 4mm HXT banana plugs which is just fine for this application turn the radio on turn the car on and there we go it's bound up so we'll pop the body back on again it just slides on a little wiggle we'll plug we'll put in the uh, body pins here one two three and four I don't know what do you think do you think this has kind of a Camaro look to this body from the front kind of does but um, most of it doesn't look good it's like a cross between the Camaro and like the MT-8 e-body you know it's druggy style but it's much smaller but we'll put it on the ground now it's on the uh... oh yeah it's put on the uh, LiPo now one thing I'm going to say is you cannot use the supply charger to charge a LiPo battery that's an absolute no no do not use a Nicomel Hydride charger on a LiPo battery. So we'll take the truck down the parking lot now and see what she got. Quite a bit quicker now on this uh, fully charged LiPo. We've got 25 miles an hour, so we've got the radar gun out here. Alright, we wouldn't have it quite turned on. We'll do one more run here, make sure there's no cars coming. Here we go. There, but it definitely feels faster. I do the best of three runs here. Definitely faster than that. I'm going to do the best of five. That's at 33. So we'll do the best of five runs. Uh, we've got to wait for this truck to come, otherwise, we're going to pick up this truck. So just wait for these cars to come past. We've got a uh, white pickup truck there and a big semi coming down articulated lorry as we call them in England alright now that that arctic is gone we'll, uh, we'll go again got 27, so about 25, 27 and 33 those legs get a little bit closer to us this time Okay, so 
27. This passed in 27. I could just read it this. Woo! 28. So we get an average of about 30 miles an hour. It's definitely faster. It's definitely more peppy. But it's hitting full speed um, quite quickly, yeah? So I think it's a little bit of restriction from the gearing and the maximum perhaps that the motor can actually can actually rev up. It's just the whole drivetrain that reaches a terminal speed. I think if you up the up you could up the gearing on the pinion a little bit, you could get this truck to go quite a bit quicker. It's about five miles per hour and it definitely accelerates a lot faster, yeah. It's a cool little truck. We'll run it on the grass now. Let's see what we get. Yeah, we got over, we got 30 that time on the way back on coming past. So no problem in the grass here. So if you're worried about this truck, it might not be suitable for running in the grass. Would it be in two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive? No problem with that. Pops off the curb there. Looks a, it's actually quite fun to drive on this uh, on this shelf. It really, you know, it, it grabs a little bit and hops a little bit in the turn. So it's very low center of gravity, so it tends to slide rather than try and roll over, which is a great trait for a beginner truck. Straight through the grass there. This is going to be a great little truck. It's splash proof, gone through the water there. Now we've got water all on the wheels. This could be a great little truck for somebody wanting to start out, or, or younger kids. Start on the Nickel Metal Hydro and then step up to the uh, LiPo or even an 8.4 volt nickel metal hydride, I think it'll probably work on one of those. You see we're as fast as the cars down the street, and they're going 30 miles an hour. So. Of course we've got reverse, reverse is full speed reverse. Brakes work good, it's a great little star truck, I mean for the price point, 120 bucks, you can probably hop it up a little bit, get it going a little faster. It looks good. Um, we'll continue to run it and test it for durability. Uh, but so far we've had absolutely no issues with it out of the box. Works exactly like it should. And um, if you're looking for a truck for a, a birthday gift or for, a, for a, a younger kid like 8, 9, 10, 12 years old or even an adult just starting out and you don't want to spend too much money to test your test the waters if you're going to like the hobby then this might be a great uh, a great choice it comes ready to run with everything that you need um, it's got some nice specifications to it and uh, I really like it we'll see how it goes in the long term but uh, we're happy with it so check us out on Facebook check us out on um, Instagram all third coast RC please consider subscribing to our channel and uh, thank you very much we'll see you next time